No, no headphones on backwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It's me, Shweeby. And welcome to Sally Face. This game has been recommended to me by quite a few people. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start episode one. It looks interesting. Kind of reminds me of, like Fran Bow, you know, the point-and-click adventures and creepy stuff. So let's play it. Find out what happens. I love this. Intro music. Best intro music ever, bro. Yeah. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Ah! Whoa. I can't see. Answers the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see me. Yeah, who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Oh, <laughs> I should have had a deeper voice, I guess? I don't know. So, why is it so dark and spoopy? Oh, I could turn on the light? Eh. There we go. Oh, what happened to her face? Oh, no. Um, oh, I love this 2D design. That's really... Wait, how do I do stuff again? Oh, look, a key. I like keys. <laughs> exactly, a key. Oh, my God. Um, Jesus, like, what happened... Where are we? This started off kind of interesting already. Like, what's going on? We're in a psych ward. I knew it. D? What is all this stuff for? Are, are we on, like, the third level? What is this? Ah! Wait, what? Ah, okay, do we have to go through, like, the correct door or something? Okay, so D. How about P? Ow! Jeez, um. Okay, D. O. Am I spelling something? D-O. Is it dog? Uh. Really, dog? Okay. going on there? Why is everybody outside? You guys having a party without me? What's going on, bros? Funeral, maybe? I don't know. Oh, here's a dog. Who's the good doggy? Who's the good doggy? Who's the good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Well, that got serious quick. Huh? Exactly. Go see for yourself. What? Diane Fisher, mother and wife? We're climbing down? Excuse me? Okay, wait a minute. What? Batteries not included. What? I need a passcode? I saw a three. Is that all you want? Oh, I broke it. Okay, bye. I'm not paying for anything. Wait, really? That was it? That was the passcode three? That's like having a suitcase lock as one, two, three, four. What in the world? Who the heck are you? D Dad? You are not my, s my son? But her name is Sally. My son is not a murderer? What? What? This is your fault? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't like it when crap gets quiet. What's going on here? Mom? Are you... Oh, 
whoever drew this stuff, you have good, you have my thumbs up, because this is kind of creepy. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, an interesting dream. I pray it was a dream, though I think that's more a nightmare, actually. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, you can tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. There was one from the apartment? Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Strange neighbors. Uh, this whole thing's kind of strange. Why are we a boy and yet we're called Sally Face, a dressed girl, and many questions? I'm sure we'll get answers. Games have never failed me at answering my questions, ever. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Yeah, that's a good idea. We just got here and let me loose on all the neighbors. Good idea. Bathroom? What do I want to do in here? Can I take a poop? Sleep aid? Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after... Oh, did... There... Did... His mom actually die? Is that what happened? Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. I don't know if I should be talking in a girl's voice with this kid, or... <laughs> I'm so confused. <gasps> like, totally! Back the dead left! Oh my god! Sal's room, Dad's room. Can we go in Dad's room? Ew, Dad, you're so gross. Hey, kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking? It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Um... What do you think about this place? May not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, but but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. But most of the students are, like, a lame. I know, so anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Alright. Peace! Try not to get into too much trouble. <laughs> You're asking way too much, pal. I'm just saying. Oh, that's so... Such a cute kitty. His name is Gizmo. So you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. It's so cute. That is a huge cat compared to this kid. Are we just super short or is that like a main Coon? You know, just question. Well, how about we go ahead and leave this kind of depressing apartment? Okay, we're in 402. No one's harm. H harm? Home? I meant to say home. An R slipped out for some reason. An elevator. Oh, crap. What happened in 403? Like, hello? Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what the- Oh! You dick. I uh, hope you don't get donuts today. Now scram! I don't get paid to babysit. No one said you was babysitting, bro. You big poop. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. <laughs> wow, this game ain't holding back. I like that. I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Wow. Can we just punch him in the balls? We are at the right height. Just one, just whack! And he dropped like a sack of potatoes. Alright, I guess we're going downstairs or up. Where are we going? We're already on the fourth. Let's go to the fifth. I'm curious. Oh, this floor is currently being renovated for your safety. Please make your way to the nearest exit. I want to knock on all the stuff. Locked. Oh, one of these was open. Hello? Oh, this is creepy. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. I don't know if that's living, kid. That guy looks... 
Ooh, should we have come up here? Um, like, hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors in a dark place. This building, horrible things happen. <laughs> are you sure you're okay? Like, oh. Exactly, Sal. What the? What the flipty floop? What happened? Ew. You know what? I don't know if I want to walk in these. He probably like peed and pooed himself here. Um, ew. That's locked. That's a laundry chute, ain't it? Or is that a window? Wait. Go back in. I bet he's not there. Okay, no, he's not there. What's this other door? It's a bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. He wedged himself in there. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this side. Okay. Creepy place. That's great. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're done with the fifth floor. Let's move on now before, you know, Satan comes down and tries to eat me. Uh, let's go to three. I'm sure there's gotta be some nice neighbors, right? What the... Are you peeing in the floor over there, bro? What are you doing? No one's home. It's a janitor. Uh, like, hey, I love your suit. It's so you. Oh, my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place, keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. Appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Now, get out of my way. I'm trying to clean this from all the yucky people. Fantastic. Okay, let's go down to floor two. No, two. There we go. Um, I guess we'll go this way. No one's home. Does nobody live here? What kind of an apartment is this? Oh, we have someone named Charlie. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Whoa, this is my... <laughs> he's, a, he's a brony. <laughs> Look at all the stuff on his shelf. <laughs> Hi, my name's Sal. I can tell that you're a nerd, so we probably won't meet up in the same clique and everything, but hi, how you doing? Just moved in today with my dad. The hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know, young teens and new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Well, if you get it, don't judge, bro. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just the hip new thing that us kids do, like you said. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. Yeah, no, bro, I had no clue. Not. I, I just figured maybe you had, like, a ton of kids. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I don't want to touch your real children's collection. That's fine. I won't be giving you any problems. Good to hear. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. <laughs> a great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look at all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> Look when people ask me, like, some various game stuff, like, what's DBZ? Uh, how do you not know? What's Pokemon? How do you not know? Oh my god. My god, child. Have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could ever want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV and never watch it. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. 
so... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah, that's what it is. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Like, nice place you got. It's real cozy. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. And it looks like you have peed from your neck and your armpits, bro. Ew. Do you, like, live here alone? Or are you, like, with your parents? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, let's, like, never go there again. No one's home. Wait, is that as far as I could go that way? Yep, okay, so there's two rooms on either side, so that's easy enough to remember. No one's home. I swear no one lives here. Hmm, I guess no one's home? No, there's someone clearly there. They're just ignoring us. I heard hammering and stuff. Okay. Let's go down to the first floor then. See what's going on. Addison? Whoa. Oh, dear. What a frightful, um, <coughs> um, pardon. Oh, that's Mr. Addison. <laughs> <coughs> pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in to say hi like real two people? Heavens, no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. You see, I jack off all the time. I'm sure you understand. Uh, sure. Like, bye. Farewell, friend. Okay, these people are weird. So if there's, like, no plaques... Or, whoa, another police guy. Like, what's going on? There was this guy upstairs, and he was rude, and now you're here writing stuff. What are you doing? Hey, young man, you just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. Ahem, <clears throat> I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way from now on, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Where the hell were you on the night of the 4th? Like, I don't know. Probably asleep. Was it a murder? I can't talk about that. That is it was! Oh my god, I gotta go gossip to... Oh wait, none of my friends are here. Damn! Bye! Okay. Um, whatever. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, so no one's here? Okay. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Ew. I know people in real life who will answer their doors like this. And it is just... Put some damn clothes on. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> okay. Gotta get back into character. Like, ah! Oh my god, are you what they call a hooker? Ew. I mean, um, nice to see you. Hi, my name's Sal. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Er, stupid good-for-nothing kids. <laughs> You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. When will this torture end? I will keep bothering you until you explode. Okay, um... I think we're done meeting our so-called neighbors. The only place that's left is the basement. But I need a key card, which I don't have. Okay, we, we lived on the fourth floor. I guess we'll go back and see our dearest daddy. See if there's anything new. Where is dad? Any over here? Hey, yo, dad, where you at, bro? Any in his room? Hey, kiddo. Wait, this. 
Oh, I'm done. I did try not to get in. But I did all things, Dad. Love me. Pay attention to me. Look, I'm doing a dance for you. What am I supposed to do? I gotta get a key card? Come on. Where am I supposed to? Did I miss somebody? Is that what happened? Oh, I haven't talked with Lisa yet. That's why. Like, Lisa, how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs, which includes creepy collector guys coming through with their piss-stained shirts and just, like, walking. It's, like, so gross. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. Yeah. What do the others say about this building? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over a hundred years old, you know. That means it's super old like dinosaurs used to rent out these rooms. People are always complaining about one thing or another, but you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, like most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? Yeah, you're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mr. Uh, who's Mrs. Sanderson? Whoops. I think Mr. Addison thick confused me. Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? Like, I am so bored. Dad won't let me have a cell phone, okay? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. That's how we get the key card. Got it. Cool. Like, thanks. Then I... Wait. Ah, no. I, I wanted... <sighs> I didn't want the same dialogue. Why would you do that? Ah, come on. Yeah, I wanted to see what the last thing... Is this building haunted? Like, ghosts and stuff? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. Can buildings be haunted by goblins? I've never heard that one. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Alright, well, see ya! I'll go say hi to your son. Bye! Now we can go down to the basement. <laughs> see what's going on down there. Yay! Progress, progress. Hey, a washer and dry, drying thing. Yeah. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Ha, <laughs> not. I mean, if it's clean, sure, why not? Oh, isn't this just a bunch of wonderful stuff? <gasps> a snack machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. Psh, I always am. This food's delicious. Oh, is he in here? Oh, I thought it was dark at first. I was like, what's going on? Larry's room. Lisa's room. I don't know if it would be a good idea to go in there. It says keep out. Whoa. Oh! The hell was that? Like, there's no need for me to stay here. And she says this place isn't haunted? Yeah, I just did the typical white girl thing and walked directly to where that was. Good job. Why is their bathroom blue? What kind of lights are they using? I want a blue bathroom. That looks cool. Alright. Before we go... I wanna, I'm gonna go be nosy in Lisa's room real quick. It's locked. Dang it! Ugh. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Thank you all so much for watching my Shweebles. Remember, if you loved it, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing and joining Shweebies Party Place today. Let's hear them battle cries. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you guys in the next episode.